I'm It's Fit Maddie Wilson. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a 24 hour challenge. That's right. I'm only going to be eating daily harvest for 24 hours. That is coffee, breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, dessert, everything from daily harvest. And no, this video is not sponsored. I did work with them in the past, but that was only for smoothies. I haven't tried anything else from them. So Let's get started. First off, their packaging is the cutest. It is around 11 o'clock and I am very hungry. I got a late start to the day, so let's get some caffeine. This is the coffee and almond latte, so I'm gonna start out with that and then also start out with a smoothie that I've never tried. This is the mango greens smoothie. It has mango, spinach, cucumber, coconut, lime, and a word I can't pronounce. For each item, I'm going to be reviewing it in two different ways. One, is it good? on a scale of one to 10. And then also, is it worth the price? Cause I don't know if you know Daily Harvest, some stuff can get very, very expensive. Yes, it is made with an amazing ingredients. Yes, it is gluten-free, vegan, like I can have all of this stuff, but sometimes I can't spend $8 on coffee. I'll give my final thoughts after each time I eat something. Let's get started, I'm so hungry. Let's start out with this smoothie. Again, this is the mango in greens. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Before I talk too much crap about this smoothie, I absolutely love their mint cocoa smoothie. Like I have had over 10 of those. I love them. I used to drink it every single morning and then I try to make my own and I couldn't make it the same as they do. Um, but this one, this flavor, mango and lime, yeah. I'm gonna give this one a four out of 10. And I do think that their smoothies are worth the price, just not this one. So we, we didn't start out strong, but I do have a coffee over here. So let's try that. Again, this is the coffee and almond latte. They're little pods, which I thought the pods were gonna be like K-pods, but they're not at all. So I put it in the blender and then I filled up my cup with almond milk, put that in there, blended it until it was nice and foamy. And then I put it in the microwave. So it is nice and hot. Before I taste it, I did want to show you that this is my newest merch. This is rainbow after every storm. It says every storm here at the bottom. You know me, I've gone through a lot of crap. So I wanted to make something cute and to remind me that no matter what I'm going through, there will be a rainbow. Enough promoting myself, let's try this coffee. I do like how it's really foamy, like blending it, that was a great trick. This is actually really good. I wanna give this a nine out of 10. It's not a 10 out of 10 because I did not like how messy it was. It's not the best process to make it. I kind of wish that they made just like smaller versions of these and not in a three pack and then made them cheaper. So you can just have like a little single serve and you could drink it in one of their little cups. But is it worth the price? What is the math on that? Alexa, what's $7.99? divided by three. 799 divided by three is 266.3333. What? Anyway, this is a lot cheaper than a Starbucks drink, but it is more expensive than say a K-cup or making a French press coffee, but it is a very different experience. It is a latte. So I am gonna say it's worth the price. If you treat yourself every once in a while, I could not imagine doing this every single day though, maybe like once a month, getting like a three pack would be a really good treat. All right, I am going to finish my breakfast and I will see you all for lunch. It's only been a couple hours, it's like 1.30 and I'm getting hungry and this takes 25 minutes to cook. So I just preheated the oven. I'm gonna have the kale and sweet potato flatbread. I'm hoping that this will fill me up. I will let you know. Honestly, I love anything with sweet potato in it, so I feel like this will be really good. It's sweet potato, red cabbage, kale, cauliflower, spinach, and coriander. So I will let you know. I'm gonna go throw this in, even though it's not preheated because I'm that hungry. All right, we got the kale and sweet potato flatbread. I'm so hungry. It's after 2 p.m. So I'm really hoping that this fills me up. Um, I just got out of the oven. If you can't tell, it's steaming, but I'm going to try it. Taste 10 out of 10. It is so good. I'm going to finish this and I'll let you know if it gets me full and to see if it's worth the price because this is like 
$8. So if it doesn't get me full, it's not going to be worth the price, but if it does, it will be. Definitely it only took me like two minutes to eat it, but it's been about like 20 minutes and I feel very satisfied. I did look up again that this is actually $8.99, not $8. I'm gonna say this is worth the price. I feel so good, like satisfied. I could still like eat more, but like the perfect amount of like, I'm good, I'm nourished, I'm a health queen. Like this was delicious. I could tell I was eating healthy, but it also felt like a treat, if that makes sense. I'm impressed. I will probably see you in a couple hours for snack time. We have snack, dinner, and dessert left. Three more things. I'm snacky. It's around like 4.30 and I'm like, extra hungry right now and extra tired i don't know what's going on but i have these this is the hazelnut chocolate bites you're supposed to be able to just eat them right out of the freezer um they seem really hard though like super hard it's steaming it's not steaming it's the opposite of steam anyway i'm just going to share right now my thoughts yeah these are really good um 10 out of 10. You get seven of them in here and it's $7.99. I'm gonna say that these are worth the price. Like these are so good. I honestly think these would be better as marketed as dessert, but I haven't tried their ice cream yet. So I'll let you know. It's gonna be so hard not to eat all seven of these right now. Um, I'll probably have dinner in like an hour and a half, two hours. I don't know. It'll just be a second for you. Ready? Super quick. It's dinner time, it's almost seven o'clock and I'm gonna be having the cauliflower rice and pesto harvest bowl. I guess they're super known for their harvest bowls and again, I haven't tried anything other than what I've had today and the smoothies. So you can make this on the stove, you can pour it into a pan and cover it or you can put it in the microwave for four to five minutes. I'm gonna put this in the microwave and I'll give you my first impressions, final thoughts, all of that and then we have dessert. I'm so excited for dessert. It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna do first impressions, eat it, and then you know how this video works. So hot. First impression, I'm gonna give a seven out of 10. I'm gonna eat this. We'll see if it's worth the price. These harvest bowls are $8.99 per meal. So I'll see if it fills me up, see how it makes me feel. Um, I just, I hate how big this bowl is and then like you only get like that much. It's probably, I wanna say a cup of food and like this thing is huge. But the biggest pro is that this cauliflower rice doesn't taste like cauliflower. And I think that's the whole point of food that is made with cauliflower is to not have it taste like cauliflower. I'll be back. And just like that, I finished. I'm gonna give this, like I said, with my first impression, a 10 out of 10. So good. I do wish there's just like a little bit more food, but I should be patient and wait to see if I'm gonna be hungry. Again, this is also worth the price, $8.99. It does sound like a lot, but if you think about it to like takeout, like you're definitely spending a lot more when you're getting takeout compared to this. So what's next? What is next? Dessert. Dessert's next, I'll see you for dessert. Well, if I look exhausted, it is because I am. Um, it is after 10 p.m. I just watched uh, one of the Star Wars movies with my boyfriend. So it is now time to eat this. This is their scoops and it is $8.99 and there's three servings in it. So I'm gonna wanna try it out. First impressions. Let's do this. I love mint chocolate so much. Holy shit. This is the best ice cream. And the fact that it's vegan is like wild. Okay. This is a 10 out of 10. 1000 percent recommend this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna set this down and then portion it out because it would be so easy to eat this whole thing. And that wraps up my 24 hours of eating only daily harvest. Recap, it's great. You just watch the video. I don't even need to recap it. I need to eat ice cream and go to bed. I appreciate you watching so much. It means the world to me. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave a heart emoji down in the comments below. That lets me know that you watched to the end. And also I comment on every single comment below that has that emoji. I'm so bad at this and I'm so tired. <laughs> I didn't want to mention this earlier, but I do have a discount code that was set up before I even had this video idea. Again, this video is not sponsored. None of this is sponsored. I have a discount code if you're interested in using Daily Harvest. You don't have to use mine. There's so many other discount codes out there, but 
it does help me out if you use it. Thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I love doing this. I want to make it my full-time thing. I appreciate it. Check me out over on Instagram. I've been posting a lot over there. I just hit 50k, so thank you. If you follow me, if you don't, go ahead and do so. Maybe I can get to like 100k. Fingers crossed. Anyways, I'll be quiet and I want to go finish this ice cream. So I'll see you all next week at three o'clock. Bye!